Many of my friends have started their card making by actually beginning with Christmas cards and sending something handmade to a friend um, during the holidays is just a really nice touch. So when it comes to Christmas cards, holiday cards, some people like to create individual cards for every person. And here's some examples of some really beautiful holiday cards. It's a beautiful snowman. And this one with the ornaments and the poinsettia is actually paper toll where it's stacked with foam tape. But here's also an ex some examples of cards that are mass produced. In other words, you have a lot of people on your Christmas list. You want to make them um, all Christmas cards, but you just don't have time to make individual cards. So these cards I've made are all the same. I just found a really simple design that I could mass produce. And they were made using very few products, actually. So for example, you want to start by covering your card. Did you know that you can cover your uh, cards by using one sheet of 12 by 12 paper? And what you want to do with this is you want to make sure that you're using a paper that just has an all over pattern and not just one direction, because then your cards won't all be the same. Some will be going horizontal, some will be vertical. So you just put it on like that and you can get four cards from one sheet of paper. The other thing to remember is that when you're creating one of these cards is I used an embossing folder with a snowflake pattern. So I can make as many of these as I want from white cardstock and then I just use two colors of ink to add color to those snowflakes. And my greetings were from a fancy Christmas greetings stamp set, so I had lots of different choices. And then I just added little teal blue dazzle stickers to the center. And these cards came together very fast. In fact, once I embossed them, um, I would say I probably spent about 10 minutes on each card. So there's also some other ideas for mass producing your Christmas cards. This one is also using an embossing folder and you just use pens to color in, spot color in areas. And this one is using um, a die cut of a wreath. And these cutting dies, I, I die cut two wreaths out of different papers and layered them. And this went together really fast as well. But if you don't want to invest in a die cutting machine right away, consider using Stamp Set. Um, this Christmas tree card was just cut around a greeting from this stamp set. I just cut around that on green paper. And then this is also a beautiful card using um, both stamps and coordinating die cuts. And they're embossed with gold embossing powder. So that's a really spectacular card with a little sparkle with rhinestones on it. Whichever method is best for you, make sure you leave yourself enough time so that you're not rushed. Maybe start in November or even October if you have a really long Christmas card list.